What are your best memories of school? Playing on the high school sports team? Performing in a play or with the band? Writing for the school newspaper? All of these activities share something in common. They create data about students, such as grades, statistics, or playbills. Some of this data might generally be harmless, like those found in a high school yearbook, while others will be more sensitive, like individualized education plans. New technology has changed how we create, use, and share student data. Whatever your best memories of school, as a district administrator, it's your responsibility to help ensure the safety and security of student information. In the past, most of these records were on paper and stored in filing cabinets. Today, student records are mostly digital, which greatly increases our ability to use, but also misuse student data. This doesn't mean you need to be a legal or privacy expert, but it does mean you should know how federal and state privacy laws affect your teachers and staff, how to decrease the most common privacy risks, and how to improve transparency about what your school does with student data. First, let's talk about legal compliance. The Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, known as FERPA, is the federal law protecting most student information. The law ensures that parents are treated fairly regarding their children's data and that the information you collect about students is only used for educational purposes. Failure to follow federal and state privacy laws could lead to investigations and remedial action. In practice, this means that you should notify parents annually of your data policies, allow them to review records, and allow them to request that inaccurate data be corrected. FERPA allows schools to designate directory information or information that the school considers to be harmless and will release freely. This frequently includes a student's name, photo, achievements, and other information you generally find in a student directory or yearbook. Parents need to be notified of your directory information policy and be given the opportunity to opt out. You should also have clear policies about who can approve data sharing with third parties, such as educational websites and about the approval process at your school. In recent years, states have started to pass additional student privacy laws, which has increased the requirements you'll need to follow. Reach out to your state education agency to find out more about your obligations and to request resources to help you comply with the relevant laws in your state. What about privacy risks? New technology promises many benefits, but also brings risks that should be addressed. For example, inaccurate data such as incorrectly entering an F when the student really earned an A could take opportunities away from students. Or data could be compromised in a breach. Legal compliance alone is not enough to decrease every privacy and security risk, so schools need to adopt additional safeguards. Creating basic privacy safeguards in your school might be easier than it seems. There's a lot of low-hanging fruit. You can implement a data governance plan, train staff on the latest privacy issues and practices, such as how to handle suspicious-looking emails or avoid unintended disclosures, and include privacy provisions in your contracts. You can also create checklists with questions that teachers and administrators should ask before bringing new technology into schools. It's important to think about both actual risks and perceived risks when creating your plan. Here's where transparency and community feedback is crucial. No matter how good your policies, if people don't trust or believe you and they lack other information, they might worry about what information you're collecting and who you're sharing it with. Student data may be perfectly secure, but if schools don't take proactive steps to tell parents about data safeguards and answer questions, parents may still believe that their child's data is at risk. Think about how your school already communicates with parents, such as through emails or face-to-face -face during parent-teacher conferences. You can use these communication channels to highlight your school's privacy achievements and safeguards. When it comes to privacy, no one has to reinvent the wheel. 
there are many resources that schools can start using today to build a culture of privacy. The most important thing is to make a plan and get started. You can implement small changes, starting right now, that go a long way to protecting your students' privacy.